Mr. Shumba, mm. this is how it's going to unfold. Okay. I have valued your company and it is worth $1 million. Okay. Your expansion requires $400,000. So we need to sell 400,000 shares at a dollar each. Okay. Do you follow? Mm -hmm. So we are going to create 1 million shares valued at a dollar each. This means you have to sell 400,000 shares to raise $400,000. Okay. That leaves you with 600,000 shares, making you the majority shareholder at 60%. Okay. As long as you're not saying I have to raise $600,000. Because I don't need that kind of money. No, 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 Mr. Schumer. 600,000 is 60% the value of the company. Okay. The one that you remain with, that is the value of your input in the company. It's called sweat equity. And the new shareholders raised their $400,000 in cash? Yes. <laughs> After all the paperwork was done, Mr. Dube helped my husband find the potential investors. Together they went around talking to potential individuals. We were able to get five investors who bought shares, 400,000 shares or 40% of Gazaland Miller's Private Limited. We were thrilled. We were able to raise the $400,000 to recapitalize our business. The share ownership of Gazaland Miller's Private Limited now looks like this. The new shareholders own 40% of the company, while Mr. Shumba held 60% as the majority shareholder. Finally, the first shareholders meeting was held, and it was by night. This meeting was to elect a board of directors who would be responsible for overseeing that Mr. Shumba runs the business in the best interest of all shareholders. They meet every quarter to review the performance of the company and report to the shareholders annually at the annual general meetings or at an extraordinary shareholders meeting should the need arise. So these are the people who were chosen as the board of directors. They immediately set out to establish broad policies and objectives, overseeing how my husband runs the company, ensuring the availability of adequate financial resources, approving annual budgets, accounting to the shareholders for the company's performance, setting the salaries and compensation of company's management, determining the amount of dividends to pay to shareholders from the company's profits, as investing shareholders hope to receive dividends to compensate for the risk they take in investing in a business. Having raised this capital, Guzzle and Miller's Private Limited was able to reinvest this new capital into expanding the business. We were able to open a new big plant in the heavy industrial areas. We were firmly into big business now, even creating employment. The girls and I were proud. The company was surely growing. We made sure we met demand. With the success of the business from the first round of capital raising, Mr. Shumba developed the confidence to grow even bigger, raise even more capital to run an even bigger milling plant. Thank you for agreeing to see me at such a short notice. No worries, Mr. Shumba. As your investment advisor, I'm available for you. So I'll make this quick. Okay. I've been thinking uh, of growing the business even bigger, like going national. And for that, I need uh, at least $2 million. Yay. You may have to come to speak to my management. You're right. Now, for this kind of money, my advice is that you take the company public uh, by listing on a stock exchange. Mm. Stock exchange? Yes. Like what we see on TV. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> the process is not so complicated. I'll come and take you through it. <laughs> Mr. Dube is explaining to Mr. Shumba and his management team. So listing on the stock exchange allows you to raise capital by selling shares to members of the public. Before a company is admitted to list on an exchange, the exchange's management and listings committee make sure the company meets all the set conditions. For instance, to be admitted on the stock exchange, you need to have a minimum number of shares in issue. At present, that is, no one should have no less than 10 million shares in issue. You also need a satisfactory profit history 
a minimum shareholder spread, that is the proportion of the shares that are being held by the public, and then also that the number of public shareholders should be more than the specified minimum. The Exchange and the Securities and Exchange Commission will also set up minimum disclosure levels and review all documents to be used for marketing the shares. So Mr. Dube explained that Gazel and Millers needed to issue an additional 9 million shares, sell 4 million of them to the public through an IPO at a price of 50 cents per share and raise the required $2 million. The remaining 5 million shares will be distributed pro rata to Mr. Shumba and the original shareholders. The management team agrees.